Less than 2 million people live in Kosovo. The average age, 26. The Kosovar youth have left their past and they are looking for a better future for their currently independent country. Many young people were looking for opportunities to study abroad. In the global crisis, some of them have come back to Kosovo with new ideas and energy to create better opportunities. My name is Besa Luce and I'm editor-in-chief of Kosovo 2.0. Kosovo 2.0 is an uh, online magazine and also a print magazine that we started about almost two years ago. It was always kind of like a dream to start uh, something, something like a project like that in Kosovo. With Dutch partners and with the support of funds of international organizations, her dream has become a reality. As a good entrepreneur, Bessa participates in workshops where she explains her experiences. The overall aim of Kosovo 2.0 was to, to create a platform where everybody feels comfortable and create a sense of community online where people go and blog and just share their thoughts and document their stories, whatever they're thinking, whatever they're doing. The graphic designer, Bardi Haliti, started work on this project last spring. Yeah, I've known Bessa for quite a couple of years. Um, I met her when I moved here from New York because I've been living in the U.S. for eight years. He was educated there, where he had the chance to work freelance for the Guggenheim Museum in the Office for Metropolitan Architecture. But the moment came to start a new beginning. When I do a book here, like in Kosovo, it feels a lot more important than the things I've done in the U.S. because like, they already have all these things. Kosovo 2.0 is already an inspiration for the Kosovar youth that live worldwide. While the Albanian Kosovar diaspora continues, some foreign people like the Dutch Irmin left his supposedly high quality of life. People are very, very busy and stressed and, and very much ambitious about everything they do. And uh, here in Pristina it's more laid back. People like to relax and connect to each other and have a good time. I came to Pristina already first time like eight years ago or something. I immediately felt very connected to Pristina. Irmin is lucky. He can choose. In Kosovo, freedom of movement does not exist. If you don't have the opportunity to travel, if you don't have the passport that I have, because I have a Dutch passport, it can be very frustrating as well because uh, Pristina is a smaller city. It is often the same circle of people that are organizing things. Eramina agrees. She is proud of her experience abroad, but at the same time she is angry because she has to ask for a visa every time she wants to travel. First look at this pro problem from outside, it's a bit shocking, you know. Then you see only Kosovo discriminated from all the European countries. Are they not doing enough or what's going on? And then, of course, if you're not a politician, you don't understand this kind of things, how they go and the procedures. An endless source of ideas, Eramina works at the university. She's part of the New Spirit NGO. She writes poems in different languages and she creates music. I'm always in a search for trying to make, to have different ways of expression. So this is really experimental and uh, it's uh, based on my poems. Approximately a quarter of the population of the country live in Pristina, the capital of Kosovo. In this artistic atmosphere, almost everybody knows each other. I surf the web a lot for inspiration since I don't have the possibility to travel a lot. Things that are more uh, inspiring for me are uh, graphic design, uh, fashion design, interior design. There are a lot of magazines that I like to check but I'm not able to, to buy or find them in Kosovo. These things, I don't get to see them in real life. Not in Kosovo, at least. Girl in a box. In a way, I feel in a box because I'm kind of trapped in here inside the box because of the reason that I can't travel. In February 2008, Kosovo declared its independence from Serbia. 86 members of the United Nations have recognized its independence as a sovereign state. All EU members except Spain, Cyprus, Greece, Romania, and Slovakia have recognized Kosovo as a country. However, if the law does not change, Anita will continue to be a creative girl in a box from Pristina.